Whoa, 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 what? All the chefs are kissing. It is such a good shade. Oh, I want to hit the contour shade so bad. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Oh my goodness, where are we? What is this unusual, mysterious place I found myself in? Well, friends, this is my parents' house. So, mystery solved, Scooby-Doo, get out of here, pal. The mystery of where I am is, is just simply that I'm at my parents' house, man. I also <laughs> am a big old goof, I'm in a big gaff, and left my camera, which is not even really my camera, it's my boyfriend's camera, but I left it at home. So my sister, who also has a nice camera, was kind enough to let me use hers, but do I know how to use the settings? Mm-mm. No, I do not. So if things sound a little weird, if I get a little out of focus, please give me some grace because I'm already very slow about it. But you know what? It's gonna be good because the content is good and that's what you come here. You come here for the makeup content and that's what I got for you here today. But that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to find out what my mom's office looks like and to see my childhood artwork on the back wall there, so cute. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in my fifth Project Pan update. Holy freaking guacamole, can you even believe that I am on my fifth update? Boy oh boy has it been a journey, I've been having such a good time. Every month I just feel so excited and motivated to talk to you guys about my progress. I always say this, but the Project Panning community is like one of the sweetest communities on YouTube. You guys are so encouraging, it's so sweet, you kept me motivated to keep going, and I need some motivation this month because I, I'm struggling with a couple of these products, but I also have great stuff to report. So as always, it's going to be a very chaotic Project Pan update, but it's gonna be fun. So if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you wanna see my fifth Project Pan update, we got some, we got some empties here, you guys. Spoiler alert, there's some empties. Then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching. It's coming at you right now. Alrighty, so the first product I need to update you on today is my eyeshadow palette that I have been panning, and that is the By Mel Lops Radioactive Eyeshadow Palette. I always say this, but this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. I gave it the very prestigious award of the best eyeshadow palette I bought in 2020, so we love her. Oh, I got lip gloss on it now, that was silly. But yeah, so my progress on this is pretty good. Um, I'm sure you can tell by the pitch of my voice that it was very good. Things are going very well. But no, I haven't hit pan on anything yet and I'm okay with that. I'm at peace with that because I know it takes a while to pan eyeshadows, especially colorful ones like these because the I previously have panned an eyeshadow. If you've been following my Project Pan for a while, then you already know that I completely finished an eyeshadow in the ColourPop So Jaded palette, but that was only because that was like a skin tone colored shade that I would use to set my eyes every day. So duh, of course I finished that. Whereas these boys, they're not setting my eyes, they are setting my eyes up for success and for compliments because they're beautiful, vibrant colors. But I do think I've made some progress. Okay, so we're gonna put the picture up on the screen here of what it looked like last month. And this is, you can see I had some dips in some of these shades. I don't know if you can see, I really tried to capture the dips, but good, good gosh knows if you can see them. But I feel like my dips have gotten a little bigger. I mean, the pink and purple, especially, you know, those are my most used shades. I'm wearing the pink and orange today. This pink is such a good pink. Oh my gosh, this shade Atomic. All the chefs are kissing it is such a good shade, but I've still really been loving it this month. I did give myself a number of times to use this palette. Um, I'm doing the Tara Brooke method. Shout out to my friend Tara Brooke here on YouTube. I love her Project Pan videos. She gives herself a certain amount of times to use projects to make things a little more feasible for herself. We love, we stand, we chef's kiss to Tara. But so I tried doing the Tara Brooke method and I failed. I did not, I, it's all right, I don't wanna say failed, but I did not use this. The amount of times that I said I was going to. And you know what stinks about that? I was so confident that I did because I used this palette so much over the last month, way more than the previous month and the month before that. So I was really confident. I had to have hit my 12 times. I did seven. I did seven times I used this palette. Eight. Eight, because one time I didn't post an Instagram. Yes. Okay. Well, that's still not it. That's still what's eight out of 12. 75%? Is that two thirds or 75%? Two thirds, that's, I got a 66, I got a D. Oh no, at least I'm passing, right? I think maybe I set my numbers too high because Tara gives herself a number of times to use something, 
but I don't think she limits herself to a month. Tara, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think she gives herself like 15 times for a month. I think she gives herself 15 times before retiring a product from her project pan, or at least putting it to the side. So maybe that was my issue. Maybe 12 times was just simply too much for this palette. Let's set that number a little lower for next time, because also I don't wanna put too much pressure on myself to use this all the time and then end up hating it, you know? And so let's do lucky number seven for next month. I know that's one less than this month, but I think I'll end up using it more if I set the number lower, you know, set the bar low and hopefully I will overachieve that bar for next month. But I definitely think I made some progress on my dips here and I really enjoyed the looks that I did create with this palette. So I guess I feel good about that. All right, and the next product I have to update you on is my NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. This is always one of my favorite products to update you on because you guys, I use it every freaking day. But the progress is inevitable, you know? And we got some good progress on this palette this month. Here you go, here she is. Is it in focus? Who knows? Here's a comparison for you. You know, see what it looks like last month, see what it looks like this month. There's some progress there. I still haven't hit pan on this one shade, but it's because it's my least used shade. I use it to warm up my contour sometimes but definitely, you know, haven't hit pan on it yet. Maybe next month though, because I've been hitting it, hitting it hard. So we'll see. The contour shade definitely expanded for sure. My corrector shades definitely expanded a little bit. This shade is, you guys, my skin does the opposite of what most skin does, where it just keeps getting paler and I think that's highly attributed to my sunscreen use, which is great. We don't want skin cancer up in here. We gotta make sure you wear SPF every day. Wear your SPF every day. And if you're considering not wearing sunscreen one day, I want you to hear my voice in the back of your head going, wear your SPF, you big old goof. So yeah, that is my SPF message. But all of this to say, this shade is too deep for me. It used to match my skin tone. It's too deep for me. So I haven't been reaching for it as much lately. I tried to use it to spot seal a little bit today, but honestly, it's, it was a little too deep. Sometimes when I color correct, I'll use this to kind of mesh the colors together. So I'll try to do that a little more, but my goal is to completely finish this palette. You guys, you guys, you guys, how satisfying is it going to be when this palette is completely depotted and there's like no product left whatsoever? What am I going to do with it? I'm going to save this forever. To be honest, I probably shouldn't. I should probably just recycle it afterwards. I will probably save it forever. Ooh, how can I upcycle this when I finally finish it? Maybe I can use it as a seed starter. It's way too small for a seed starter. I don't know, give me your ideas for how I can upcycle this. I haven't finished it yet, but I wanna start planning because baby, you're done for. Just a couple more months and you are freaking out of here. But for now, I am very happy to update you that I am continuing to make progress on my NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. Okay, let's do my next complexion product, which is new to my project pan. I just introduced this product last month and that is the Milk Flex Foundation Stick. I have the shade Fair. I love this foundation so much. Oh my gosh, my favorite foundation of 2020, probably still my favorite foundation. I've yet to find one I liked more. But so let's take a look at the progress here. Let's roll it up. Ooh, I'm gonna roll it until you can't see the white part anymore. So it's like, you can see exactly how much is left. Okay, so this is it this month. Ooh, let me pull it up close for you. Is that in focus? It's not in focus, is it love? That's okay. All right, so this is what it looks like this month and this is what it looked like last month. But I made some good progress on this stick. And honestly, I like am kind of thrilled that this stick is going down slowly because I use this nearly every time I do my makeup. Of course, I'm not wearing it today because I'm testing another product. So be on the lookout for that. Is my skin looking very luminous and beautiful? Ah, not what this video is about. I am happy to see this stick going down slowly because I think it's a good value. So I discovered this product because I had bought something else from Milk and they sent me a free sample of this. And the first time I put it on, I was like, what? Whoa, 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 what? Like my mind was blown. My everything was, you know, it's just I'm, I was dizzy. It was so nice. But I just loved the finish of it so, so much. Love the coverage. It's a medium coverage. It's beautiful. It's so kind to my dry skin. My dry skin just drinks it all up. We love it so much. So I bought this last June, I believe, and I still have it. Also, I started seeing this at my local Marshalls, although they never have my shade. They always just have like one random shade of this Milk Flex Foundation Stick. But if you live near Marshalls or TJ Maxx, check it out because they got them for $9.99 and baby, that's a freaking steal. Oh my gosh. I mean, I bought this for $35, which was a lot and I think it was worth it. But for $9.99, 
freaking forget about it, you know? I'm just doing reviews now. This is a project pan update. Give the project pan update. I think next month I might be able to finish this maybe two months. I think maybe two months. Next month I bet I'll be even closer, but I bet I'll have like a week or so left. I don't know. I can't predict the future. You're going to have to subscribe to find out. All right, moving on to my next product, which is the Midas Cosmetics X Neon MUA Dawn Face Palette. Really, honestly, truly the only face palette that matters. Anastasia Beverly Hills, are you taking notes? Jeez, oh my gosh. All of the bad face palettes that have come out lately in Neon MUA and Midas are just over here killing the game. I love this face palette so much, but that's not what this video is about. It's about giving a project pan update. Highlighter, phenomenal. Doing so well with this highlighter. I love this highlighter. I'm wearing it today. Look at the glow. Oh my goodness, she's glowing. She's looking luminous. I love it. But the highlighter, I definitely made some progress on here. I'll have the other picture on the screen so you can hopefully see better. But the second bar of my highlight has started to peek out. I'm so thrilled. I hope you can see, but the second bar of the highlighter has started to peek out, which is so exciting because I had only seen the one bar for a few months. So we're seeing some good visible progress on this highlight. Someday I'm gonna see the bottom of that contour shade. And when I do, you better bet your bottom freaking dollar that I am going to celebrate, probably with champagne in my update where it happens. Maybe it'll be next month. I don't know. I got a serious case of FOMO on Instagram the other day because Neon MUA reposted somebody's face palette where they had hit the contour shade and I was like, I want to hit the contour shade so bad. I'm so jealous. But I'm going to keep working on it. I wear this all the time. It's a beautiful powder contour. But the thing is, you don't need a lot of it. So, you know, I feel like that's why I don't, you know, why I haven't hit it yet because I can get away with using a small amount because then I go with the bronzer and the blush and then I tie it all together and it's just so glamorous, but hopefully we get to see those bars soon. I can see the indents of the bars so prominently. I'm like, I have to be getting close to hitting pan. But like I said, when I do, we'll drink champagne. We will be popping bottles together and I cannot wait for that day. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited to update you on the next product. I wasn't excited about it until like 15 minutes ago when I looked at the picture I took of it last month and realized I've made a bunch of freaking progress on my CoverGirl True Blend blush in the shade Molten Rose. I was just talking about in my April makeup roundup video, which I uploaded on Monday, go check it out, how this blush will not die. I have been using this blush for literally three, four years and it just won't die. But you guys, it's almost dead. Ah, how exciting. Not that I, I don't want, here's the deal. I don't want you to die, okay? I love you so much. But also, I'm kind of ready to go our separate ways at this point, you know? Me and this blush have been in a relationship for many years. Honestly, it's been a bit more of a give than a take on my end. You know, you've been taking a lot of my time and makeup days and you've, you've kind of stopped giving me the pigment. You know, I'm sorry, I don't mean to air me and my blush's dirty laundry out here on my channel, but we're just, we're not getting along so well anymore. But I'm also very close to finishing this blush and I'm thrilled about it. I'm wearing it today. It looks fine. I'm actually not just wearing this blush today because I've kind of reached the point where it almost is losing its pigment. I think what happened is because when this blush was in its prime, this is what the blush looks like when you first get it. And you can see there's a good swirl of pink and purple in it, or at least like a mauve and a peach. And when you swirl it together, it looks really beautiful. But because I've used so much of it, I feel like it's kind of giving more purple now, which is fine, but on my cheeks, it's just pulling very contour. And I feel like when I wear this with my contour, they just kind of blend together and it's not enough of a flush for me. I like my blush to be seen. I love a bold, vibrant blush. And this is no longer doing it for me in that department but I do like mixing it with other blushes, so really just to use it. But you know, it's it's a pretty blush, it's a pretty finish. It's got a nice satin kind of a sheen to it, so I do like it for that reason. But oh my gosh, we haven't even compared it to last month's picture. Look at last month. Okay, she looked good, she looked great, but look at this month, we're almost done. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pull it up close. Look at her, she's almost gone. She's, like I said, she's, I've advised her to pack her bags because she's nearly finished. We don't have much longer together and I'll probably get really sentimental when I do actually finish her, but right now I'm, I'm ready to be done. I'm very ready to be done. Oh, and this was another blush that I gave myself a set amount of times to use. No, 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 it did not happen. I did not use this blush 10 times. I used this blush six, was it six or seven? Either way, not 10 times, 
but I did still get some use out of this blush, which honestly coming from the previous month, I think I used it like twice. So that's still good, but I am going to lower the number for myself. I also think this blush will be gone in maybe like another six times. Okay, I'll try to use it six times again. That will be my goal. I feel like that's not set myself up for success though, because I'm starting to not enjoy this blush as much. Five times, there we go, one less. Yay, one less amount of times. I don't even know if it'll take me that amount of time to finish this blush you guys it's so close Ugh. okay you know what new goal no times no set amount of times i'm gonna finish this by next month i will finish you you'll be done ah i don't know what's happening to me i have such negative energy towards this blush and i don't want to i think it's just it's like i said this is the oldest product in my collection we're we're old pals we've been through three apartments together so you know we're, we're girlfriends okay fine we're good pals we love each other it's fine but I'm gonna finish this blush before next month. All right, and the next product I have to update you on is the other blush in my project pan. It's my cream blush, and it's my Honest Beauty cream blush in the shade Coral Peach. I am still loving this blush so much. I'm also wearing it today. It's the blush I combine with the CoverGirl blush because this blush makes the CoverGirl blush more punchy and more fun because it's such a pretty peachy shade. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that shade is. It's so pigmented, but it blends out so well. I keep giving reviews. I'm sorry, this video is not about reviews. What am I supposed to do with this? What are you supposed to do with this? I'll swatch it on my hand. Here you go. All right, so I made some good progress on this blush last month. Here's the picture of it last month. Here's the picture of it this month. It looks pretty much the same, although I can see that the circle at the bottom, like the exposed pan, is a little bit bigger. I think sometimes pans can look bigger on certain products for people because they really focus their brush in the middle or they really like go for it in the middle, but I'm, I'm trying to spread the love a little bit because I don't want just like one little hole in the bottom. I want the whole thing to get some use out of it. So I can see like up close in person that I've made some progress in like the ring around the exposed pan. So I'm still very satisfied with my progress. I know I've used this a bunch of times. It's a beautiful blush. I love to wear it on my lips too. A little lip and cheek action for you. I know some people don't like to do that because I think it's unsanitary. I wash my hands literally every time. 10 seconds when I'm doing my makeup, so I think it's fine. But I really love this blush, and I can't wait to update you on it next month because I'm still loving it. Alrighty, and the last products I have to update you on are my lip glosses. And you guys, these guys are freaking done for. First of all, the Tower 28 Lip Jelly in XOXO is gone. It's done. You can see there's some like lingering at the top here. I don't know. Do you guys have any advice on how to get that out? Because I've been trying to scrape it, but it's kind of hard because yeah, you can't really scrape around that part but I have been using this a ton. I wore this on the days where I didn't wear any other makeup just because I love this formula so much. I think I'm gonna purchase a full one of these. It's so easy to throw on. It goes with everything. It's not like a red, red gloss, but it does give your lips like a nice tint. You know, sometimes if I'm feeling like I'm wearing no makeup and that's, I'm looking a little, I'm looking a little lifeless, you know, I'm very pale. So sometimes I can look a little, a little lifeless. So I like to breathe life into my face with this XOXO lip jelly. And and I'm calling this done just because there's only the stuff at the top, but you know me, I'm a Virgo. I'm gonna scrape this until it's absolutely gone. I would love your advice for how to get this out. I don't know, do I have to break it? Do I have to break it? And how do I break it? Please leave me your advice down below because I wanna totally finish it, but I'm still calling it an empty because it is. Okay, and then my other lip gloss is the one I'm wearing today. I had a feeling I might not totally finish this one this month. It is the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss in the shade Divine Rose. I'm trying to show you how low I am too. This one's one you kind of have to let it like drip to the bottom before you can see the progress. But you can see I'm like, I'm at the bottom in here, baby. I'm just scraping the walls at this point. This one is really just stuck on the walls. I'm wearing it today, it's super pretty. This is another one I'll probably buy in a full size. I haven't been reaching for it quite as much lately just because you know, she's mauve, baby. She's giving us winter, she's giving us fall, she's giving us, ooh, I'm chilly. And right now I'm just not chilly. So 
I've been reaching for more warm toned lip glosses right now, but I do still reach for her because whenever I have more of like a cool toned look, she's great. You guys get the picture. She's cool toned. She's warm toned. I love them both so much. This one had more product to start with, so it makes sense that I would finish this super mini one first, but I still have really been enjoying this and I think next month it'll be totally gone. And I'm interested to hear what your method is for like scraping these when you're done with them. Don't you put it in hot water? Isn't that something people do? Did I make that up? Did I imagine that in my head? I feel like you're supposed to soak it in hot water and it helps the product get down the sides. I don't know. Could I Google it? Yes, but I would rather hear your opinion. <laughs> I really enjoyed using this lip gloss over the last month and I cannot wait to update you next month. I think it's gonna be an empty. I can't wait. All right, you guys. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. Those were all of my updates from the last month of project panning. I would love to hear what you're panning in your own collection. Are you doing a project pan? And if you're not, I invite you to join me. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel or an Instagram or anywhere you post, I would love to hear your updates. I would love to hear what you're panning. Also, you should make an Instagram account to share your project panning content because those are some of my favorite accounts to follow. I love following people's progress when they do like the, they post like multiple pictures of different months so you could swipe through and watch the pans get bigger and smaller. Ah, oh, it's so satisfying to me. Maybe it's a Virgo thing. How many times have I mentioned I'm a Virgo in this video? Only two. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to the Project Panning community for always being so sweet and kind and supportive. I wish I could pinch all of your cheeks so bad because I love you guys so much. So thank you for that. And thank you for watching. If you like, like I could going like this, I feel like I have lip gloss on my teeth, but I can't see. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other Project Pan videos. I will link them down below. But yeah, check out the description box for everything on my face today, all the products in my Project Pan. I will also have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources and resources to support the Asian American community. So please click on those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. My face is like really trying to make goofy faces right now. I'm in a goofy mood. I'll see you later. <laughs>